चुप उठी या खोखो आमा मुके साथ खड़ा लगे बोलता है। Don't know what to do, man. Northern Tanzania is home to the Hadzeb, one of the last remaining hunter-gatherer tribes on Earth. Known for shunning material possessions and social hierarchy, the Hadza roam as needed to find game tubers and wild berries. Hunter-gatherer societies understand that their survival depends on natural resources. With an estimated population of less than 2,000 individuals, the Hadzaib are one of the last tribes to stay true to their tribal history. It's another beautiful morning. The Hadzaib are smoking and preparing their arrows before they start hunting. Men typically hunt and bring home honey to feed their families, while women and children gather fruits, berries, and roots with which to supplement their diet. <laughs> An interesting facet of Hadzeb culture is their language, believed to have some kind of relation to the Bushmen of the Kalahari Desert. The Hadzeb language is a distinctive tongue of cliques that is similar to that of the famous Bushmen. For thousands of years, these people have survived in the wilderness, while other tribes have given in to pressure from the modernizing world. Living near Lake Ayasi in northern Tanzania, the Hadza have managed to preserve their hunter-gatherer way of life for over 30 000, maybe over 50 000 years. These young boys managed to get a dig, the smallest antelope. They set out early in the morning, and actually they must be hungry for now. They are going to make fire and cook this dig. The Hadza create fire without the use of matches or lighters. Instead, they rub two pieces of wood together with enough friction to generate enough heat to ignite dry grass. They are not going to eat all the meat. They'll just eat some, and the rest will be taken to the village and be shared with other members of the village. The Hadzeb tribe is one of the 120 plus tribes in Tanzania and they are among the last hunter-gatherers on earth. Liver, heart and chest part are considered the best parts of the animal, and the Hadza prefer those parts. Those parts sometimes are eaten raw. As a hunter-gatherer society, the Hadza have no domesticated livestock, nor do they grow or store their own food. The Hadza survive by hunting their food with handmade bows and arrows and foraging for edible plants. The Hadza live a very social lifestyle, and they share everything that they get from the morning hunt. Males are responsible for hunting with bows and arrows. They use metal arrowheads coated with poison for hunting large mammals such as giraffe, zebra, buffalo, eland and big cats. For the Hadzabe, hyena is the only animal that they don't eat. After shooting the animal with poisoned arrow, the Hadza track the wounded animal, until they find it. Small animals like dikpik, jackals, and foxes are very common to hunt in the area. Over the past century, 
The Hadzab have been losing about 90% of their homeland. Their hunting grounds and habitat are being destroyed by farmers, pastoralists and land developers. Hunting and gathering is a daily activity for the Hadza. Everyday men take their bows and arrows, and go hunting. When they get a big animal like an antelope, they will stop hunting for few days, until they finish the meat. Hunting is not easy at all, it's hard, and sometimes it takes many hours. Not all the time they succeed on hunting. Sometimes hunting is not successful, or they just get tiny animals. The huts are made from a framework of large branches woven together at the top. Smaller branches are then tightly interlaced to make up the second layer. This is then covered using a variety of materials, such as long grasses, liana, or tree trunks. Go ahead. Uh, what do you want to do? 